It looks like we have a halo uh, eclipse. Anyways, I just thought that I would leave a little update of my place. Um, we have tile and mortarboard and grout and mortar and um, the sealant and tiles all to go in the bathroom. So this is a little bit of what we discovered today. And you get a little picture of Eclipse as well. He's been a good boy. He's learned how to go up and down the stairs, huh? Let me kiss. Oh, thank you, buddy. Okay, I'm sitting on the floor. I'm not sure I'll get up, but I'm sitting on the floor at the moment. And so enjoy what you have of the video of my house being repaired. I forgot to say one important detail here that I reposted the uh, close-up of the bathroom so that you can uh, see from what Soraya had, what, how it looked to what Soraya had done to, um, to how it's going to have to look in the future. Oh, I'll show you. The, there's, <laughs> there's my puppy curled up with a stuffed animal butt buddy um i'll show you what what how it looks currently kisses 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 he has a stuff okay i thought you guys would like to meet my roommates this is soraya hey guys. and there's mac she at least looked at me yeah, give me an evil you. eye but she looked at me she's no proof i'm not <laughs> so soraya has been working on the house today what did Soraya find in the bathroom? Oh God, uh, we're gonna have some fun. So the the back the back of the bathroom, the plumbing at, at least, was not done anywhere close to its particular. There was a, a loose plank. That the loose plank was the only thing that was actually holding it together. Video will video will be will be posted. Yes, um, and I will I will put that up probably links to this video. Um, but there was literally nothing holding it up except except for the exterior wall to the to the uh to the shower and that wasn't that wasn't even up, up to code it wasn't even like a it wasn't even like a cement board or anything like that it wasn't it had no waterproof value to it it was actually slowly deteriorating as as time went by so what i did was uh i rednecked it so i took so i took the uh the plank that was connected to it and i twisted it over and then i put it and then I reattached it to the two to the two sides of the two by four, so so on like that. And then I took a, a secondary board and pushed the the the, uh, the flex pl plumbing back into the wall, so, so that way we could so that way we, we had real estate to work with. Um, and that sounds funny saying real estate, but we know what you mean. Well, real estate, real estate. It's is, really the term. Yeah, it, it is. It is the term. Real estate is not exactly a housing complex. It's more of area. Right. So that's that's the that's the short definition of the word real estate area. So if you're like a re renting out an area, side tangent. Um, anyway, that's okay. So it's the right term. It is right. It is the right term. But um, that's what I did today. Um, we're also working on the windows right now. So yeah, I noticed you used like a half a roll of that insulation stuff around the windows. Yeah, the rub the the uh, rubber. Foam. Yeah. Um, because the windows are in such bad condition, like they're like it's. They're they're two side they're two sided slant uh, windows so you can get a hee 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 but the but the problem is when you pull it up you can actually go into the side of of the window and actually wiggle it wiggle it around the window. They're they're probably the original. It. It's probably the original window. If it is, then that, then it's a really bad design. Right. And needs to be ratified. Right. Um, but I think you mean rectified. Rectified. What's what's the difference? Okay. Rat ratify and eh, ratify could be right, but I think you mean rectified. Rectified. We'll use the word the term rectified. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, so we're gonna be taking uh, duct tape as a temporary fix to uh to at least stop the draft. To at least stop stop the draft and uh, tape up the holes so that way the draft doesn't come in. So that way we have more uh heat in the house. So that way the heat can stop it escaping and that and so we can keep more of the heat. Yep, and sounds good and, to me. And then, and then the cold doesn't come, come into the house. Yeah, and tomorrow we have insulation coming, which is good. Mm -hmm. So we can at least do the the part, hopefully get the entire attic done. Mm -hmm. um, what I plan on doing is taking, oh gosh, I have a lot to do tomorrow. Um, I, what I plan on doing 
building is, is, t is uh, clearing out the attic uh, section by section, mm -hmm. and then I plan on putting insulation there. We need to find, we need to find like, plant, uh, not driftwood, ply plywood um, to put on the flooring portion of it, and then we can, and then we can put the flooring. Right. I mean, but, we, but if we do the ceiling part, then it'll keep the heat inside. And I was planning on starting the insulation on the heat. I'm interested. For the, on the roof, so that we can keep the insulation inside, yeah. or keep the heat inside. The ceiling is, o is okay. The only issue is that when you, when the ceiling goes like, whoop, there is a, the, the main issue, the main parts that need to be fixed are the holes around that, that yeah. ceiling. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. So, I think I get what you're saying. So, the floor needs to be fixed before the, the ceiling needs to be fixed. Uh, I was, well, yeah, but putting up insulation will keep the heat in. Yes. Yeah, so I was thinking putting up insulation on the in the ceiling would keep the heat in, and then we can work on the floor in warmth instead of in cold. Well, later on, I'll, t I'll tell you why that's a bad idea. Okay. But sounds good. But yes, this this is this is the update of what we're of what we're working on right now, and hopefully things will go good. <laughs> hopefully, fun. hopefully. Don't know how to do a sign off. Peace. <laughs> Okay, I wanted to show the actual bathroom. This is what I have. It doesn't look too bad at this point. But look at this. You saw how much it wiggled. And that it actually twisted and it's actually twisted in there. So that's not good. You see how this is? And you see how that wood is warped. Huge hole. So how about that, that huge gap? And of course they have this not hooked up properly either. That's the drywall. This is uh, just wood. This is wood. This is drywall. And then there's these huge gaps over here. all the way up. So, really, we need cement board for at least part of this wall. Should really have cement boards all the way up. But, and I'm not sure how much of a difference this is, but there's a ledge right there. It's about the width of my foot. And I don't know why they painted a bathroom black, especially in that spot. How about behind the toilet? You, I know you saw a little bit of it if you paid attention, but move this. But look, they painted behind the toilet, but they didn't even paint the whole thing behind the toilet. It would look a lot better if they did the whole thing behind the toilet. See, it's solid black. But again, drywall. This is drywall up here. Well, actually no, I think this might be cement board because it's blue. But, I mean, the drywall is not even put in properly. Shake, 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 shake. So anyways, that's the bathroom. This is on the outside, but you notice I don't have anything around this. Oh, and I want to show you the other side as well. I'm going to go in, in my craft room, which is not put together properly. But there is a, you like my little panel? Hole back here. That I can 
show you. You can see the pipe there. The bathroom will be in there. The pipes themselves look fine, at least to me. And you can see the sun going through where the uh, faucet is at. But the faucet's not exactly clamped in there properly. So, we need to clamp that properly. Uh, hopefully we can get it clamped properly. Okay, so it's time to get back to work. I will be having a second video shortly about something that's really cute. And I will do, be doing a second series on this particular item. Okay, thank you for your time. All right, doing some work on the uh, the bathtub and trying to fix this stupid thing. This, the, the problem is this, this entire house was poorly made. And this is the proof. This is the proof. So we have one nozzle. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm going to go, yep, one nozzle leading down there. But it's supported by one fucking plank. Going to have to do that and then, pop, and then somehow fasten this right here. It's possibly going to have to be poorly done. I don't know. I'm going to try my best to actually successfully do this. But this was a stupid, stupid design. What's the actual living hell? What's the actual living hell? I don't know. Ugh. Ugh. I'm having an aneurysm right now. Fuck this. I'm going to go get my stupid tools. I have to un fasten the stupid paint from the stupid screws. Ugh. I hate it when people can't do their job right. I really do. You had one fucking job, and it was to fasten the faucet to the stupid to the stupid thing. And they can't even do that right. I'm having a pan I'm I'm not having a panic attack, but I'm having an aneurysm right now and it's it's hurting. It's fucking hurting. Ugh. Like I'm amused, but I'm also disappointed. It's like if you're going to build a house, do it right. This is like a 2 century year old house and we have to fix it. They didn't do it right. They didn't do anything by code. This is not by code. This would have been so much better if this was by code, but it is not by code. Uh, wish me luck. Okay, so I'm going to show you. This is what it currently looks like. 